It's Ignite Your Monday and I'm Nancy Fredericks and I'm so glad to be back with you again. We're going to be talking about a topic that you've probably heard me discuss before and it's so critical I'm happy to repeat it. It's about working with less than stellar, less than ideal bosses. And often our first reaction is, ooh, let's leave. I want to caution you, no, stay, pause, go into rumination with yourself and with ob observation for your company because within what that less than stellar boss is doing the company wouldn't have them still there if they weren't bringing some kind of skill set some kind of attitude some kind of attribute that the company wants and this is your opportunity to learn it and gain it as part of your leadership arsenal so that you're seen as the next up and comer but only take on those things that are in integrity with you. Hear me? In integrity with you. Because the reality is, is that leaving means that you'll probably be running into a less than perfect boss. Staying to get the attribute and understand and gain this knowledge and skill set is going to last you for a lifetime. Now, I'm not saying you have to stay at any company forever. Please don't hear that. Strategically leave when it makes sense for you to leave, but not because someone is running you off their turf. Hear that? I want you to take this on. Start really looking at building muscle to work with those less than ideal people, and you're going to be stellar in your company. So I hope I gave you one food for thought there. And if I did, and you think other people would benefit, would you please pass the information along? I do this because I want to support women in growing and becoming hugely successful everywhere they show up. Bye. See you next week.